Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. I've been meaning to do this video for a while because in the past I've been espousing a practice that is just plain wrong and I need to go on record and teach you the correct way you should be doing this. Specifically, I'm talking about backing up your Lightroom catalog. You probably know that when you first got Lightroom and you shut it down, a little pop-up would appear asking you to back up the Lightroom catalog. And I've done at least two videos that I could remember where I say I have that set to never. I never back up my Lightroom catalog from within Lightroom because I do it externally. I back up my catalog externally uh, to another hard drive and to the cloud. I also back up all my images to another hard drive and to a cloud. Well, after my last video uh, posted, several people commented and a few even emailed me telling me that I should look at a video by Terry White. Terry White f works for Adobe and he explains in his video why you should back up your Lightroom catalog from within Lightroom. Now in the description below this video, I have a link to his video so you could check it out and I'm pretty much going to echo uh, what his reasoning was in his video in this video. Now specifically, um, if you're in Lightroom and you have a Mac, if you go up to the Lightroom Classic menu, if you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu, and go to Catalog Settings, you can see at the bottom of the first tab, it says Backup, and I, had, I used to have it set to Never. Well, I recommend that you do that uh, no less frequent than once a week when exiting Lightroom. If you could do it a little more often, that's better. Now, the reason why you should be doing this, um, I'm going to do it um, when Lightroom next exits so I could show you. The reason why you should be backing up your catalog from within Lightroom, and this is uh, what Terry White explains in his video, is when you do close down Lightroom and that pop-up appears, you'll see that there's two check boxes here. Test integrity before backing up and optimize the catalog after backing up. Since I never backed up Lightroom from within Lightroom, I was never testing the integrity of my Lightroom catalog, nor was I optimizing the catalog after I was backing it up. Terry White, in his video, explained an issue he ran into. Um, he went to shut down Lightroom, and when it was testing the integrity of his catalog, it found an error. And Lightroom ran fine, so he had a corrupt Lightroom catalog, but Lightroom was running okay. And you could surmise that if he didn't back up his catalog from within Lightroom, if he did my method, he, over the weeks and months, would keep adding images to that corrupt Lightroom catalog, and eventually it may crash. Well, what Lightroom also has built in and what you don't see here is when it tests the integrity of the catalog, if it does find an error, it will attempt to fix it. And in Terry's uh, video, he demonstrates how it fixed his problem with his catalog. So I want to um, correct what I taught in the past uh, that I don't back up my catalog. I just do it um, with, you know, externally. Instead, back up your catalog. And I would again say that you do it no less frequent than once a week. If you could do it once a day, that would be probably best. Maybe every time Lightroom exits, if you're um, importing images multiple times per day, you might want to do that. But definitely back up your catalog from within Lightroom. And I apologize, I taught, um, I taught it wrong in the, in the past. So I apologize for that. Also, you know, again, it optimizes the catalog as well. And that's always kind of helps Lightroom run effectively and efficiently if you have an optimized catalog as well. So back up your catalog. Now, one thing I will say, uh, this backup location, it doesn't overwrite previous backups. So if you back up your catalog every day, um, after a year, you will have 365 zipped backups in that folder. So you should regularly go to that folder and delete old backups. I keep my last three. Um, it's up to you. Um, I have no specific reason why I keep my last three, meaning that isn't what Adobe necessarily recommends. I just think three is a pretty good number. So I chose three. So uh, 
periodically go to your uh, catalog where your backups are and delete old backups because they do take up disk space. And if you have a really, really large Lightroom catalog like I do, these files are quite large, um, like over a gigabyte in size. So you're going to want to, or maybe even several gigabytes in size. So uh, definitely go and delete those um, old backups. Keep a few just in case one of the files is corrupt or something. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. And thank you, uh, Terry White, for setting me straight. I'll talk to you guys soon.